Hello and kia ora everybody, welcome to my first ever YouTube video, I'm so excited. My name's Imogen and today I thought why not show you guys a tutorial on this look here. Pretty much I did this look a couple of days ago and I got a lot of love on this post. In my opinion I do think it's probably one of the best looks I've done so far. So why not show you guys the process. I've already done my eyebrows off camera. Um, pretty much I did like that laminated kind of fluffy eyebrow look using this product here. This is a really good product. It's good because it really like sticks down your hair. So yeah, for starting with your eyes first, um, I'm going to be using the Sephora Best Skin Ever Concealer just to carb out my eyebrows and set my eyelids. So yeah, just like that. So now I'm just going to go in with my damp beauty blender and then just blend out the concealer. So once you've blended out the concealer, you just want to make sure it's set using a powder. That could be a loose powder, could be like a banana powder, any powder will do. I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contouring Kit. This is quite good, it comes with like many different shades and I usually use this middle one here. So today I'm going to be using these two eyeshadow palettes. So I'm going to be starting with the extra large palette here. And the first shade I am going to be using is this green shade. I'll pop it up on the screen, this green shade called The Hype. And that's going to be used as like my transition colour. So just loading the colour onto um, using a crease blending brush. Pretty much just going to kind of pop it in your crease area, but then blend it upwards. So you're just putting it in your crease area slightly above and then just blending it out and we're going to wing it outwards. So yeah, it should somewhat look like this. So now I'm just going in with the shade Ecstasy and I'm just blending out this shade. Then what I like to do next is just go in with an even fluffier blending brush just to buff the edges out some more. So now I'm just going to deepen the crease area using this shade here called Forest and that is in the Carnival Love Tahiti palette. Now that we've done the deepening of the crease I'm just going to add like a really dark black just to the inner corner and to the outer corner of the eye. So I'm going to be using the shade Lights Out and that is in the extra large palette as well. And I'm just going to go in with a smaller blending brush. So then you're just going to bring that dark shade across to where the crease is and just gently blend it out on the edges. Awesome, so now that I've added in the black shade, I'm just going to blend the edge out a bit. We're now going to cut the crease. So again, going in with the Best Skin Ever Concealer by Sephora Collection. Just going to put that on the back of my hand. So I personally find that the best way to cut your crease is going in with like a flat eyeshadow brush. The good thing about it, it's got like this little curve. Load the concealer up onto your brush. You want to cut the whole crease, not a full cut crease, but just to the end. And you just want to kind of shape it out with the tip of your brush. It should look something like this. It is a little bit tricky to do on camera and like kind of show you guys. Alright, so I just went in with the shade Ecstasy and I just packed that all over the concealer where I cut my crease. So now I'm going to just blend out the edges using the black shade. Now I'm going to blend out the black using the shade Forest. So it should start looking like this. Now this is kind of where it leads into that more halo eye sort of effect. We're going to add a shimmer on where that vibrant ecstasy colour is. So we're going to use the shade Tahiti Green. It's such a pretty colour. It's giving me like, you know, like poison vibes. <laughs> but yeah, just go in with your finger and then just blend it out where the ecstasy shade is. 
perfect so it should look like this it's such a stunning look like seriously the green is just so vibrant absolutely love it absolutely stunning yeah perfect so now what you want to do is just get a cotton bud or a q-tip and then go like this just wet it with your mouth and then you just want to kind of swipe up I'm just going to use the Sephora um, Zinc Micellar Water on a little cotton pad and just wipe away the excess under and on the edge of my eye. So I'm just going to start with my top lashes using the Huda Beauty Legit Lashes. This is such a good mascara, it really creates volume and extends those lashes. So I'm going to go in with the Curl and Lead Bend. I don't know if you guys can see, but look at the difference, like, no mascara, mascara. Once you've done your mascara, you just want to add some lashes on, just to kind of create more impact to the look. Today, I'm going to be using the Hustle Cosmetics lashes in the style Certify. So that's what they look like. So I've just added the Duo Quick Set Glue on. Um, this one's really good because it's fast dry. So when I'm applying lashes on myself, I usually literally just use my fingers, and I tend to place it in the middle and then do all the edges. Perfect, so now that the lashes are stuck on, I'm going to do the other eye of camera and then we can continue with the face. Perfect, so I've just finished my other eye off camera. This is what we've got so far. Now I'm going to prime my face using the Fenty Beauty, the Pro Filter Primer. This primer is really good because it's suitable for any skin type. It really just adds like the extra moisture and kind of just feels really nice in your skin. And it smells really good too. I am going to be using the MAC Studio Fix Foundation and I'm going to be using the shade NC25. Then I'm just going to go with my Damp Beauty Blender just to blend it all out. And always remember to blend it down the neck just so it's even with the rest of your body. Body arty. So, I've only got a test spot at the moment, but this is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. And I've literally had this test spot since December last year. So yeah, it's lasted about three months, but look how much product there is still left. You only need the tiniest bit. I'm just going to go with my Sephora concealing brush. Just placing the concealer in the inner and outer corner of the eye, and then even down the nose on this big pimple that's on my forehead. And like, kind of like any redness. So my face is all dotted and mapped out. Now I'm just going to blend the concealer out underneath my eye with this brush. What I do next is just go in with the beauty blend just to blend it out a little bit more. I just blended out the rest of my face except here because I just want to show you guys the difference of this product. Just look at that, like it's very full coverage, it's kind of hidden my dark under eyes. And then here, like you can see like right there, there's some darkness here and it kind of goes all the way under there. Hello, no sleep gang, like seriously. Concealer is all done, I'm looking awake, I'm looking very, very bright. So now I'm going to warm up my face by contouring, using a bit of cream contour that you wear. And I'm going to be using the By Mario Sculpting Stick. And yes, I used to watch Michael Finch, so if you're hearing these weird phrases, it's because of him. His videos were just so funny, like my sister actually like got me into watching his videos and far out, we just used to crack up laughing at all the stuff he would say. <laughs> so what I did was I just dabbed my angled brush onto the product and you just want to kind of focus just slightly above the cheekbone area. So you're yeah, just blending upwards. You don't want to blend downwards because pretty much what that's going to do is it's going to drag your whole face down and make it look longer than it is and we don't want that. We want a facelift but with makeup. Now I'm going to do my forehead and jawline. So now I'm going to contour my nose. Contouring is done. I'm gonna go in with some cream blush. So this is the Rare Beauty Mounting Blush in the shade Nearly Apricot. So that's what the shade looks like. Pretty much when you add warmth to the product, so using your finger, it goes into like a more creamy consistency, which makes it super easy to blend out. And you kind of just want to focus it again, like on the high point of the cheekbone. But like, see how stunning it is. Like it's very natural looking. What I like about this product is that it is very buildable. 
blush is all done. Now I'm going to set my under eye, T-zone area and chin using the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Powder. I'm using the shade Pound Cake. So now I'm just going to go in with my powder puff that I got off Shein. Awesome! We are looking absolutely amazing. What do we think? What do we think? It's so good. Let's do a bit of highlighting using the Glow Kit palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I usually use like a mix between Summer and Moonstone, but today I'm going to be using the Moonstone shade, which is that one right there. We are almost done. Now we are going to add some eyeshadow underneath the eyes just to make them pop out and stand out a bit more. So using a smudge brush I'm going in with the shade Forest and I'm just going to start by smoking it out underneath my eye. Then I'm going to be using a precision brush and getting that shade Ecstasy I'm just going to blend out Forest again. So picking on that black shade I'm just going to be using like a fluffy eyeliner brush and I'm just going to put it as close to the waterline as possible. The underneath of my eyes are done. Now I'm just going to line my lips using the Mickey Maximum Pout Pencil in the shade Classy. Lips are all lined up, then I'm just going to go in with the EXO Beauty Cream Lipstick in the shade Ubuntu. Ubuntu, I think that's how you pronounce it. Awesome, so the lips are all done now. Now I'm just going to set my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. So now I'm just going to be going in with the Huda Beauty Legit Lashes Mascara again, but this time I'm going to be using the Volume End. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the little tutorial for this look. And also I hope you guys like learned a few tips and tricks from me that could potentially improve your current makeup routine. So yeah, thank you guys. Subscribe if you want to see more of this face. <laughs>